The responsibility rests with the Ghana Elections Commission to conduct free, fair and credible elections, says the Alliance for Change. At its weekly press conference, executive member of the party, Beverly Alert, said that there is growing concern that the next general and regional elections will once again dissolve into unrest unless improved systems are implemented at GCOM. Assurances by the Ghana Elections Commission that there are quote-unquote safeguards to prevent multiple voting, vote impersonation, and other forms of quote-unquote skullduggery, the term they used, appear empty in light of what transpired in 2020. There are facts that the commission seem not to be addressing. Fact one, votes were cast in the name of deceased persons. Fact two, Immigration records revealed that votes were cast in the name of persons who were out of the jurisdiction on polling day. Fact three, the recount showed that pertinent documents were not placed in ballot boxes as required at the end of polls. These alone should have informed Jacob that the electoral system is weak and needs a revamp. Instead, the Commission continues to issue press releases on a regular basis. When was the last time the Commission held a community public education meeting or a session to educate first-time voters? When was the last press conference? GCOM will not be allowed to hide behind press releases and use, use the law as a cop-out to avoid addressing the concerns of the electorate. The party feels that nothing is stopping GCOM from the collection of biometrics. They've noted the weaknesses in the system from 2020. They should be making recommendations. Here is what needs to get done. There, at present, there is nothing stopping the collection of biometrics. Yes, there may be law on the use of biometrics on polling day, but that can be corrected by amendment to legislation. Biometrics is one such method that is recommended to cure that kind of impersonation. When you do not want to have impersonations, then you would want the biometrics legislation in place, but they don't want it. So it is bespeaking of what the PPP government and its Attorney General is up to at this point in time. In political circles, there are calls for a clean voters list. General and regional elections are due in 2025.